Okay, we are still in my partner's man cave, which is where we set up our Christmas tree. And it's already set up because I didn't take it down last year. So here we are, it's all pretty. Um, today we've got a lot to talk about because I didn't make a video last week. I was too busy. Go lay down, Sizzle. So I finished up work, which is so exciting. Um, and everyone was so supportive when I said I was leaving and everyone was really nice. Um, and yeah, I've just been living my best life this week, faking it until I make it, working on my um, crochet shop. Next week, I'm going to be working a lot on the educational website because as I said, I think that's the thing that's going to make me the most money and then I'll get back to crafting. So like all the products are made for the educational website, I do still have lots of ideas for things that I can continue to make. But um, yeah, we'll just spend all next week getting that set up. This week I have been filming heaps of things. I've done a vlog. So I'm going to do this podcast. I'm going to, I think I'm going to edit everything tomorrow. So last time I was talking about having that um, sheet where I was going to map out what I do every day. Uh, this week's been, I've just been experimenting with things. So I made a heap of stuff, which I'll show you. But also I... Um, I've just seen how the day flows and what I think I can get done. So at the moment, we sort of do the school drop off. I did a heap of shopping because um, it's been cloudy. And so I needed to get a heap of things done for the garden while it wasn't like crazy hot. Today it's back to crazy hot and it'll probably be crazy hot every day after that. And so I'll be doing an hour of work in the garden every afternoon. I also have a gardening channel, so I'll list that. And so I'll make content in that for that one hour in the afternoon. The garden doesn't need to be like worked on for hours and hours and hours, except for when you're setting it up. And I am kind of setting it up a little bit. I've been working on it for four years, uh, but obviously very part-time. Same with all the crochet, you know, it's all part-time. But now I'm a full-time entrepreneur lady, woohoo! <laughs> so very exciting. So I've got a lot of stuff done in the last two weeks. It is now Thursday and I'm hoping to post this video on a Friday. And hopefully I'm gonna schedule the vlog and all the other videos of me like making stuff um, are gonna be shorts and then I'll turn them into little videos. But for algorithmic purposes at the moment, I need to focus on doing the podcast like consistently and then slowly adding in different series. Um, I need to get, I'm putting a lot of physical stuff up on the website, but I really need to get digital stuff up there because I'm advertising the website through my YouTube channel and my TikToks, which are like international. I don't know what percentage of that is actually going to be Australian people who could buy physical products. I'm only shipping within Australia because that's easy. And within Australia, it's $10 um, track postage, flat shipping on the website. So I've got that all figured out that it's listed properly and it has a proper uh, shipping profile. So it's going to be $10 uh, no matter how many things you buy. So um, also I'm waiting to buy the domain. So my final pay that had all the holiday loading, um, is not coming until the following pay cycle, which is Monday. So on Monday, I need to buy the domains for the educational website and Bex Crafty Nook. So it's hopefully going to be like bexcraftynook.com.au. And then I can just write that on the TikToks because on TikTok or the shorts, you can't really leave a link unless you have like so many subscribers. So yeah, that's what we're up to with the websites. But I will leave a link in this description that you can go check out the website because you can click on the link on this channel. So let's take a look at the market bags that I've made this week. I've also listed them up on the website. How good am I? Now, I, I don't think I'd finish this one. Oh. Let me get my little book that has all the names I've written down. Um, I asked ChatGPT to help me come up with some cute names. So this is the only one we had last time. And so I said to ChatGPT, um, I think this is giving Halloween vibes. 
and I would like a Halloween themed name and the yarn, I said it's a market bag and the yarn colors are like these bright purples, orange, yellow with the beige, a little bit of beige and you know, bloody blah, blah. And it came up with the Haunted Harvest market bag. Let me go get my little book and then I'll tell you the other couple ways. Okay, I'm back. Um, thank you to Janelle and Indy, who are, Indy is um, one of my students at childcare, uh, for giving me this beautiful book. They also gave me another little stationery set, which I'll show you at a later date, but I've been using it. So I put in all my ideas for the educational um, stuff. List of things I needed to do. Now, marker bag colors. I've written it down so I remember. So, Haunted Harvest. Then I said, um, this one is giving me a mermaid vibe. This one. And so we came up with the name Golden Tide. Harvest bag, uh, marker bag. And then we've got, I believe it's, these are also, I said, mermaid vibes. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Go lay down, sizzle. So I'm laying down and I got up. No, go lay down in the dog bed. Uh, so this is Sea Foam Glow. All that bright green. It's just gorgeous. So this colorway is actually mm, Pop Rocks. Pretty sure. I will change it if I need to. And oops, look what I found at Spotlight. 400 grams for $12. Look at it. That's Abbey Road cotton. Oh my goodness, what a find. Yes. Okay, so more of the shopping trip later. So, Seafoam Glow does remind you a little bit of um, bioluminescent algae in the waves. Okay. Then, so I'm pretty sure that one is Pop Rocks. I will, I will double check and I'll put it on the screen as usual. Then we've got, pretty sure this one is Push Top, which is, I called it Coral Cove. Because I also thought it was beachy, mermaidy. So pretty. Really nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All listed on my website. Keeping them nice and clean in their little baggies. Okay, next we have Do not have a name for yet, but I'm thinking also mermaid. If I had a collection, it'd be mermaid collection. I just like to sort things, you know. Pretty. I just love how Abbey Road does these bright, bright colours and then puts the um, neutral in there. So I haven't got a name yet. So it's not listed on the website yet. Gotta do that. Oh, the reason why is because I ran out of, I'm using ChatGPT3 and I ran out of responses for the day. So um, I need to ask her all the questions in one question. <laughs> and then we've got, this colorway was called Tiny Teddy, but it gives me like meadow, grass, that kind of vibe. So we called it Meadow Whisper. Turned out so pretty. It's very earthy, grass, so pretty. Okay, and then we have one more. And the next one I said, I didn't know what kind of theme I would give it, but 
to me. I like, I really like whimsical kind of stuff. And so we have, this one is called, what did I call it? Enchanted Rosewood. And the actual color is Candy from Abbey Road. It turned out so nice. I love the bright, bright pink, baby pink, a little bit of coral. I also made uh, some TikToks. Uh, I don't know if we need to insert them. I'll decide, editing me will decide. Seven bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've done eight bags. Just need to list them. And as I said, what a find. So these are normally on sale eight dollars each, and there's four balls worth in there. And um yeah. What full price thirteen dollars and four balls worth was twelve dollars. Exciting! So I'm um, I'm doing something else with this yarn that I want to show you, but I don't want to get up right now because then the dogs will get up and then it's a thing. But I'll show you later. It's uh the sunburst granny square tote. So I'm gonna make some of those. And what I did was I split the colors up uh, to make the granny square. So I'll show you that in a minute, but maybe we should look at the shopping haul. Uh, before that, I've got one more bag that I've got on the go. So I've been making this every morning when I drop the girls off to school and I pick them up. I made one of these before, um, but I kept it for myself. Um, I also had to buy some more hooks because I was using the same hook between here and my hugs and kisses blanket and then i'd forget to take it in the car um can't remember what this colorway is called i'll pop it on the screen but yeah i'm just up to making the handles and i think we're going to name this something like unicorn mythical something oh here's the color i've got it it is it's the Sunshine Collection, Fizzos. Yeah. So, that's that. Okay. Oh, and then the next colour I'm going to do, I've still been looking for uh, freckles. They haven't had that in stock. They seem to almost have, like, new stock every day in Spotlight. But the next colourway is going to be this monotone licorice. So we'll be making that one for the next bag. So that's why I've got those together. And I did find another colourway in the Abbey Road cotton. Let's put all that together. Here's my oh, oh, massive bag from Spotlight. Oh, how cute. I love the colours. Oh, but it's big. Okay. Okay. I bought a lot of cotton. And to be honest with you, it smells funny when you have a lot of it. I found this colorway. It's um, it was the five dollars because it's from the Freedom Collection. But then, like, I feel like um, they must be getting stuff from other stores because it's on clearance. Like, why have we still got more of it? But it is called Two T Two T Frizzos. Hmm, love it. So I think I, they only had two. No. We got three of these. Three of these. So I might, I think I'll make a mesh bag and a Starburst Granny Square. We'll just see because the Starburst Granny Squares are going to have to be quite expensive. I think I, yes, I already have one of these, which is Sandboy. Haven't made that one up yet. Look how pretty they are. 
Okay. But I've nearly gotten through my last bag of um, cotton that I bought. So I'm doing good. Okay, is there any more of those? Mm, no. I've got another, another tiny teddy. I have one of these so I can do the starburst. Sunburst, starburst, granny square. Sunflower, starburst, granny square. Okay. And... Right. So the little... Flinders Cotton and Brighton Cotton were on sale for half price. They had a half price sale. That's why I bought all this stuff. So these are 50 gram, grams and I think I need two per bag. So I don't know if I'm going to like do handle and the rest of the bag or am I going to do, I've got two of each colour. Or am I going to do the whole thing in one colour? Or am I going to do Starburst Granny Squares? I don't know. What am I going to do? But I do need to find out how many grams it's going to take me. I think for the Starburst Granny, it takes 150 grams. So I'm still finding out and I've got to find out how long it takes me. I think it's taking me significantly longer because you've got to make each square. I've got to separate the colours and I've got to weave in all the ends and then sew it all together. So I think they have to be crazy expensive, but I still want to make them. So I think I might just make one of each and put it in the shop and if somebody loves it, then they love it. But, um, so, and then if it sells, I can make another one. I don't know. So let's go through the colours that I got. I got, this one is called Ocean. Really pretty dark blue. That's probably a good representation there. I'm gonna need somewhere to put them. Maybe I'll put them, I'll put this down and I'll put them up on my little chair. <coughs> okay, so that's Ocean. Then we've got Lagoon, Flinders, <coughs> then we've got Periwinkle, is that bluey purple? Then we got Mustard, okay while the dogs are up and barking I'll go get the <coughs> granny squares. Okay all of the sparkles were two eighty five. dollars <coughs> The Brighton cotton was three dollars. Um, so some is Flinders and some is Brighton, which I don't know which is which. Yeah, and then I'll just leave that there. I got some mandala ombre. Is this so soft? And I really want to do a hexagrammy cardi. And I thought can't go wrong with black and grey. I wear black and white all the time. So I've got these two. The colorway is, where does it say? Yeah. And it's 150 grams. Cool Freud. That's all the colors there. And I got, I made sure they were the same, sort of, but they're not every time. Every time I buy these, I'm like, get the same one, but it's not. I'm running out of room. Okay, I'll just put them back in. <laughs> then I got two of this way for blankets. This is acrylic. It's soft, but it's not the same. So it's just normal Mandala Lion Brands in the color Gnome. It's bright and beautiful. Again, I didn't get the same, although I thought I did. <laughs> Still exciting and um, yeah so I want to separate out the colors and we're gonna do a wrap around granny square uh, blanket and I have to tell you something I have to tell you now I'm gonna forget I have to get some digital patterns up on the store did I say that before I have to get them up so that everything you know because I'm advertising worldwide so we're gonna put um, we're gonna do on YouTube uh, a tutorial series to take you through how to do the square, how to make the blanket. And actually, please comment 
please give me a comment. <laughs> I want you to vote between this one, which is gnome, or this one, which is troll. I would vote troll. Okay, so if nobody comments, we're going to do troll. But I would love if you could give me a comment and help a girl out. Gnome or troll? Which one? And we'll do the tutorial with it, okay? Don't let me forget. So we're going to do the tutorial. And then I'm going to, on my website, if you would like to support me, then you can buy um, a short form of the written pattern. And I think I'm just going to make it like $5. I don't think it's really worth listing anything for under $5, to be honest. By the time you pay fees, it's just not worth it. So if you want to support me, you'll buy the written pattern. Otherwise, you'll follow along on YouTube and you can make one. And maybe we'll make a Facebook group and you can share your photos. Or maybe you can email me and then I'll put it on my podcast. Um, even if it's, if it's just a square or if it's a full blanket. Um, and then I'm going to finish up the pattern I was working on, which is really detailed with photos and everything. Um, there's just a couple of little things I need to do on it. And that's going to be an ebook and that'll be like $15. And then I'll have every single thing you need to know, plus some, um, color palettes on it. So yes, which one? Gnome or troll? So we've got two of the gnome for the wraparound granny square. And we got two troll. And hey, I think I got the same balls. I did it. No, I didn't. <laughs> but I think even though it's wound different, you're going to get the same amount of each color. Because look, that green, there's only a small amount. And then there's only a small amount. So maybe that can be a video. Maybe I can uh, check that out. So yes. I'm going to separate the colors out uh, and then I'll see because I have a really good idea now on the wraparound granny square how much yarn you're going to use for each. So with this green one being the least amount, you would use it in the very centers. So that's it. Um, oops, my, color, my cover just came up. Ooh. Let's put his sleeve back on. Okay, and then I have to show you some stitch markers I made. See how busy I've been. But notice how like nothing is completely finished except for the bags, but it's okay. Oh, and, and the thing I'm gonna show you. Oh, and I got other stuff. Okay, okay. Ooh, all right. <laughs> so I made some stitch markers. Let's have a look at those. Okay. Um, I did these yesterday. So these are sets of three and they're going to be $6. There's a, um, I call them no drama llama. So you get the two um, cactus pots and a llama. So we've got two of this color and on the back I've written a number and down the bottom of the listing, um, it says what colors they are. So I know which one to give you. So we've got two of those. We've got just one that has the white llama. I'll insert a photo as well. They're gold. And then I've got one that's got, uh, sorry, two that has the blue llama and the brown pots. And I just wrote on the card, Bex Crafty Nook. <laughs> we've got two of those. And then we have two of the cream and the terracotta pots. How cute are they? And yeah, the back is just a bit of yarn and my number so I know what to give you. So I made all those and then I made some extra, extra. Um, actually, I've got a list. Um, I got this idea from a YouTube channel, a small YouTube channel with like a thousand subscribers. So I'm going to insert her channel name and the video I watched. It was her latest podcast. And I think she also made these stitch markers. I'll find out who was making them, but they're like fully extra flamboyant Oops. Um, stitch markers. So 
These have numbers on them, one to five, and they've got a cute little um, gummy bear and the sparkle beads. So I made those yesterday. Aren't they pretty? I think they're super cute. Um, I could not find a ruler, and this morning I found, I bought a tape measure and I found a ruler. Uh, so you know how big they are, because they are pretty epic. So I've called, the llama ones are a basic, because it's just a charm and a claw clip. And these are deluxe stitch markers, because they've got all of the bling. They have a charm, plus all the bling, plus the numbers, plus the claw clip. Uh, so I put a crochet hook next to them in the photo on the website uh, for scale, but I don't want anyone to think that the crochet hook comes included. So they are about seven and a half centimeters, but on the tape measure, that's gonna be in inches. I mean, 12 inches is a foot. I'd say one, two, three, three and a half to four inches they would be. So yeah, super duper bling. But I think they're extra cute and special. So I've got heaps of charms, heaps of beads ready to go. And I will take photos on the website with the um, ruler next to them. Okay, that's all that next digital pattern I've been working on. This one is going to be free uh, because it's a licensed thing. We'll see. I mean, people do sell licensed, licensed things, but you know, is it in here? So I'm going to put a picture up on the screen of the graph. It's a Stardew Valley uh, Christmas bauble knitted. And I am basically a beginner knitter. So this is, um, you can put it on straight needles or I've started to try and do it um, on four double pointed. These are double pointed, but I just put a silicone bead on the end so it doesn't slip off because I still haven't finished my baby booties. So this is the bottom of it. And then after that starts the Stardew Valley graph. So um, it's stockinette stitch, which one side you knit and one side you purl. And on the back side is all your little bumpy bits, right? And so instead of finishing this, I paused it to start one in the round because I think it would just come out better if you didn't have to join it. This is still gonna work anyway, and I'm gonna do the pattern um, in both, but you can see here what, where the white stripes are. It's four parts, one, two, three, four, and on each one is a little chicken. There's three chickens and a love heart, and then you would join it, and this is the bottom. And I didn't start writing it down as I went, and so I'm gonna do written instructions and the graph. But you can see it's gonna be really pretty. Um, and so I'm up to one more row and then I start the graph. But um, yeah, so repeats of four. And um, I was just using one of the graphs and then, so like you had to increase on this side and this side, increase here, increase there. And then you get to the end. Uh, but, oh yeah, and I think because I was adding the colors, it was, I don't know. Anyway, I thought it would be easier on four needles because each needle will just have the one repeat and then you will remember the pattern better because you'll have, anyway, if that makes any sense. So I also bought just this morning, I've got to finish this. I'm going to put it on the website for free. I'll do a little blog post about it. Um, so I bought these to see what size bauble is it going to be. I think it might be this and then I'll buy more. Um, some people stuff, I'll just open this first before I put it. Some people stuff their baubles with um, stuffing, but I feel like foam will be much better. So what do we think? No, I think it's going to be bigger than that. 
Yeah, but no, because we've still got, there's one more increase. So I think whatever this diameter is, maybe this, yeah. I think it's gonna be like that size. So I'm probably gonna work on this pattern on the weekend to write it down um, and do uh, the one in the round because I just had to fudge a couple of extra stitches so I had the right amount of stitches which I think I'll do in the next round. Um, so yes, and then um, when I started knitting in the rounds, so this one you go back and forth, you knit and you purl and you knit and you purl. And then when I did it in the round, like you're supposed to just go around because one side is the purls. No, yeah, you just knit one side and the back turns out to be a purl. But when you go back and forth, you need to purl to make, because you're turning. But when you go in the round with the four double pointed needles, you just knit. You go round and round and round. And so also with this one, I'm doing two stitches for each square on the graph. So this is the knit on the way there, the purl on the back, the knit, the purl, the knit, the purl. So if we did it in the round, you just need to do one and the graph is going to be better, which it'll be a smaller bauble. So I, need, I really need to finish both to see what the deal is to recommend the foam ball and all that jazz. So I'm working on that, working on patterns. I don't know how to make patterns just yet, but that's uh, three millimeter needles. Um, I'm using double pointed and just my normal uh, marble eight ply acrylic. And I'll be listing the colors and all that too. Okay, so that's that. And then I have one more thing to show you, which is the hugs and kisses. So I just did a little bit last night, so it hasn't grown a whole lot, but we've gotten through the whole colorway, which is white, fawn, uh, sage, sea green, sea green, outback, and latte. And then we are back to the fawn. So yeah, it's going nicely. I've got to update. Um, I did a little update when I'd finished sort of up to here. And then I need to update the next one, which was sort of to here, and then another update. So I've got two updates to do on the website. So um, I think tomorrow what I'm going to do, yeah, I think today, no. Tomorrow I'm going to edit everything. So I'm just filming this today, and then I'll probably do some, um, I might work on the Stardew Valley. Yes, I'll work on the Stardew Valley. Hopefully some people will comment pretty, pretty please what color we're gonna do in the wraparound granny square. And we'll film the tutorials next week and I will get the um, little mini pattern ready. So it's gonna say, um, it's gonna say the pattern written down, but there's not gonna be all the photos. Whereas the ebook will have step-by-step, -step, all the photos, all the things. So if you buy like the mini pattern for $5 to support my channel, you're just gonna get um, the written pattern, the color palette, and just a couple of photos and you'll get the free YouTube tutorials. And then yeah, we'll do the um, Stardew Valley bauble. So once I have that pattern figured out, I can make all different ones. I also have some ideas for graphs for comfort dolls as well. So, Yes, that's everything I've been up to. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I'm going to list the YouTube channels that I mentioned for the inspiration for this. The inspiration for the baubles just came from Pinterest. And I'll um, give you the channel who did the fancy stitch markers. But I'm pretty sure that was the same lady as who, who did this. So hopefully next week I'll be able to show you a heap of new things. I should have a podcast next week because, um, you know, I should be able to stay on schedule now. And I'll also, uh, I'll, I'll do up that 
you know, daily schedule, how you spend your time, and that will be free on the website as well. So check out the website, keep checking back during the week. Um, I'm on that heaps at the moment. Next week might be a little break while I set up the domain names and the educational channel. And I will leave links to my other YouTube channels if you'd like to see more from me. So thank you very much. If you like the podcast, please subscribe. It really helps me. I need to make it to 500 subs to get monetized. Um, and that would make me really, really happy. And I'll see you next week. Bye. No. Oh, no. You can't sit on my lap because there's no room. No. Lay down in the bed. You too, Dave. In the bed. In the bed. Off you go. Okay, this is as good as it's going to get. Go sit in the dog bed. You can't sit on my lap. Off you go. Go sit down. Dave. Go sit down. Go lay down. Good job. Friends, I'm back. I forgot to show you the most important thing. I've got another Milan. And it looks like a Lion Brand Ombre to me, but I don't know what colorway it would be. I tried to look it up online. Let me, let me touch it. I haven't opened it yet. Oh yes, it's soft. Look how cute it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But look, look at all the little variations in it. If you know what this is, please tell me. But I got 400 grams of it. I think I want to make a blanket, but I want to make something fancy. I'm thinking I want to make a corner to corner with like a monochrome background. Like it's just two colors and do like white and something like this. I don't know. Tell me if you know, but it's super soft. So they're 150 grams and they're normally, they're also $14 each. This is 400 grams for $12. That's at least three balls, right? One, two, three. Mmm, close to four balls. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, I'm going now. Bye! Dave, you go sit in the dog bed. Oh, you. Oh, you. No, go sit in the dog bed. No. Nope.